Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Today's video is all about paid versus organic Instagram marketing. If you are that person who requested this video for me six months ago, I am so sorry. <laughs> if you are any of the people who are like, mm, well, I did a, request a different video six months ago and I've still not done it. I'm so sorry, I am getting there. The good news is I have so much content that this is just, I'm gonna be uploading every week for the rest of my life at this point. So I apologize that this has taken me a while to create, but it's such an important topic. I get a lot of DMs about it. So let's just get straight into it. So first I feel like I need to talk about what the difference is between organic Instagram marketing and paid Instagram marketing and just what they are in general, right? So organic Instagram marketing, is quite literally Instagram content which hasn't cost any money basically so it's any content that you share on Instagram which has had no spend or money put behind it so you know those reels that you posted yesterday or that carousel you posted last week all of that stuff that you posted and you didn't press that boost button I'll put a little photo here or you didn't put money behind it through Facebook advertising you just shared it to your page that content was organic because you have not put any money behind it to increase its reach okay that's essentially what organic Instagram marketing is. Paid Instagram marketing is the opposite in that it's any activity that you are doing on Instagram which you have put money behind to increase its reach or to increase its performance. So when you're on your home screen on Instagram and you're scrolling away and you see a post pop up from someone who you don't follow and it has like a call to action what says something like shop now or visit this profile, that is an ad and that is an example of paid Instagram marketing. That brand has decided to spend money to increase the reach or performance of that piece of content. So that is what paid Instagram marketing is. So one of the ways that you can actually think about paid Instagram marketing versus organic is by relating it to a really common theory, which is of course a marketing theory. I hope you're ready. It's time for Jade's marketing lesson, um, which is basically called push and pull marketing. The idea behind, you know what, if you're not interested in marketing theory, you could just skip straight past this part, but the, the idea behind push and pull marketing is that push marketing is any marketing which pushes your brand in front of your audience. So we're talking about things like TV ads where a brand has paid to be pushed in front of that audience. So anything where you feel like you are pushing your brand and your messaging and your content in front of an audience is a form of push marketing. Now, the opposite is pull marketing. And pull marketing is any form of marketing where you are pulling a consumer towards your brand. So you are doing something which is making the consumer want to come to you. So an example of this, which is an Instagram related, is like PR. You get a really good article published about your brand in Vogue or something. And the result is that people seek out more information about your brand so you've got that article and then you've pulled all of these people towards you right so if we think about push marketing and pull marketing how they relate to kind of instagram and paid versus organic is that push marketing when you're pushing your marketing in front of people that is paid advertising you are pushing your brand onto other people's home feeds so that when they are scrolling they see it right pull marketing is very closely related to organic marketing you are creating content which you are not putting any money behind you're just creating it and because it's so good and it's so effective people are seeing it the algorithms pushing it out to people and therefore people are coming to you they're seeing your post on the explore page and they're like oh that looks great and they're looking at your content they're interacting with you they're following you they're literally coming to you as you can imagine pool marketing if you manage to do it properly is incredibly effective like the results you're going to get from pool marketing is wild because you are literally getting people to see you out like how often can a company actually say that they've done that they've just put something out there and then everyone went to them they didn't have to go and force someone to buy something from them everyone just came to them and just threw money at them right <laughs> that is what poor marketing is and that is why organic marketing is so effective okay so that concludes my marketing class let me know if you found that boring or not <laughs> let's get into the pros and cons of organic versus paid because i'm guessing this is going to help you figure out which one you should be doing for your business right so let's talk about organic first the pros of organic marketing is that it's free what you're doing shouldn't really cost you any money in regards to you having to pay Instagram. It might cost you money to produce your content and all of that kind of stuff. But in a nutshell, when it comes to you posting it and you know actually setting it live, that part's actually free of charge, right? The other pro to it, in my opinion, the biggest pro that a lot of people overlook is that it forces you to get really good at your content strategy. Because you are literally trying to create content which is pulling people towards you, you have to spend the time, the resources, whatever it is, to get really 
clear on who your audience is, get really clear on what your content pillars are, really clear on what your marketing strategy is. And the result is that you end up having a very, very powerful Instagram channel, right? Which is basically working for free for you, but which is actually effectively putting people into your brand. When you get good at that, what happens is that you actually build a deeper relationship with these people who are coming to your brand than you would be if you were just pushing advertising in front of them. Because they're actually seeking you out, they're a lot more likely to buy from you. They're more likely to share your content. They're more likely to become an advocate of your brand and talk about your brand to others. They're just basically going to be a, a far stronger supporter than if you were just pushing marketing in front of them, right? Now, the con to this, the biggest con is if you are not willing to put in the time, the effort, the resources to get good at your strategy, it's not going to work for you. It's going to be a really difficult thing for you to achieve, right? I have just launched my signature marketing program, which is called Next Level IG Academy. And the whole program will literally guide you step by step through the process of identifying your audience, creating a value offering all the way through to creating strategic content pillars, planning your content, and then setting everything on autopilot so that you don't have to spend so much time on Instagram and you can spend more time on your business. So there's a link to that in the description if you want more information and if you're serious about actually leveraging Instagram to go your brand. If not, then I honestly recommend that you find other resources and other courses in order to get to a place where you've got a really strong content strategy because it really is essential when it comes to organic marketing. And also it's worth thinking about it this way, right? You may need to invest in a course or a program in order to learn how to get a proper Instagram marketing strategy. But once you've done that, the rest of it's free. Because you're gonna be doing organic marketing, you don't need to spend any more money anymore. With paid marketing, you are constantly spending money every day to get your message out there. Whereas with Instagram marketing, it's a one-off investment on figuring out how to get your strategy up and then you kind of just set everything to autopilot and let it run. So it depends on how you approach things like that when it comes to your business. Okay, so paid. The pros and cons of paid Instagram marketing. So. The pros of paid Instagram marketing is that it allows you to get in front of a lot of people, right? And Facebook has really great targeting functionalities where it basically allows you to target people who are specific age, who are specific gender, specific location, have specific buying habits or interests. It gets really granular. So that is a huge benefit to paid advertising. It is guaranteed to get you in front of people. You don't have to worry about like the algorithms if you don't want to spend the time learning how to do them. Also something which I teach you in my course but if you don't want to spend the time learning how to do them paid gets rid of that for you and it just basically guarantees that your content is going to be seen by this specific audience now the biggest con to paid advertising is that if you do not have good content it does not work <laughs> It doesn't work and you end up wasting a lot of money. Now, when I say good content, and you're gonna hate me saying this, but to be honest, in order for you to have the right content for your paid to succeed, you probably need to have done the strategic work first because all of that work is gonna get you to a place where you know the type of content that your audience wants. So once you've done that and you've tested it, another thing that you should be using organic marketing for because you can test and learn and it's free. You test and learn your content and you've got your strategy down, whatever. You've got your content. Now it's your time to boost your content and to put spend behind it because now you know that you've got content that your audience likes so yeah put money behind it drive that reach up get it in front of more people and what's probably going to happen is you're going to end up being able to run a really profitable paid advertising campaign another con to paid advertising is for a lot of people it does fluctuate depending on your industry you normally need a a fair chunk of money. Like you normally need a good amount of money to get started because you want to run your paid campaigns and test a lot of stuff, right? Again, this is usually more prevalent for people who don't already have a good content strategy. They haven't done all that testing. They haven't done any of that stuff. So what you now need to do is set up multiple ads with different content and different messaging and different call to actions and all this different stuff so that you can test what your audience likes and you can figure out which one's actually converting. And it usually takes a lot of testing for you to get to that point where you've got an ad which is converting well for you and what that requires is a fairly substantial investment of money I mean I wish I could give you the exact amount I don't know it, it could be like a few grand like I guess it just depends on what your budget is but a lot of the time you do, do need good testing before you can get to a point where you've got a really high converting ad but then once you're there it's like absolute gold mine <laughs> You just keep on running it. It's an absolute dream. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing that you watched this video because you were like, oh, I don't know which one to choose. Maybe you were like, maybe you already have paid advertising. You don't know whether you want to go to organic or whether maybe it's the other way around. I don't know. But you're probably wondering, you know, what do I think is the best one for you to have? And you may have guessed if you've watched this entire video. My biggest recommendation to you and any of the clients that I ever work with is to nail your organic 
Instagram marketing first. This process of nailing your organic Instagram marketing allows you to really get down to grips with what type of content your audience responds well to, what type of content they convert to, what features you need to be using on Instagram, what messaging you need to be using, all of that stuff what goes into your strategy. When you have that nailed, that's when you move over to paid advertising and that's when you start spending your hard earned cash on promoting this proven content that you know is going to do well for you. You follow those two steps and you do it in that order. That is, in my opinion, how you are going to see the most success. That is it for today's video. I really hope you found it useful. I personally absolutely loved it because I got real, real deep into my marketing brain there had a great time. If you did find it useful, I recommend checking out this one. It is all about my top Instagram marketing tips for this year. So thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope I see you in my next video.